Hello and welcome to this HowTech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to compare columns in Excel. Say, I made this column right over here, and my friend made this column. And we want to make sure that there aren't any repeats in names. So to do that, we need to type in a formula by clicking on any empty cell here. And what we need to type in is equals if, open parentheses, is error. So if there is an error, then do something. In this case, our error will be open parentheses match. So if there's a match between one of these names and with any of the ones in the other column, then we have an error. So open parentheses for match, we need a lookup value, an array, and a match type. Now the lookup value will be Olin right over here. And hit comma. Our lookup array is this whole column. And then, since we want it to be the exact same column throughout, we'll go ahead and throw in some dollar signs. Right here, 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 and here. So this will keep it the exact same selection, even as we go down through the list. So next, we'll hit comma. And then we need, we can choose less than, exact match, or greater than. But since we're just dealing with words, just strings, no word can be greater than another. So we'll just go with exact match. So then we'll go ahead and close those parentheses. There's one, and there's another. But we're still in is error. So what we need to type in now is a value of true. So if it's true, if there is no error, then we'll just do nothing. Two double quotes. But if there is an error, if it's false, then we want to spit out the name over here, which will be Olin in this case. Then we can go ahead and just close those parentheses. And then we'll hit enter. And you can see, because Olin is not found in this column, then we don't have an error. I'll just drag this handle down. And we can see that we do have one error, and that's Kiara, which shows up in both columns. And also, if there's an error, but there are really large columns, then we can hit Control F to search for whatever name caused the error. But we could also just drag it over here, and then change a few things. So instead of B3, we want to reference C3. And instead of these, we'll just change that to A. So change the C's to A's. And there we go. And then we just have B3. And instead of that, we want to spit out C3. So there we go. And then we can just drag this down. And you can see that we have the error here and there. There's the left column and the other one in the right column. This has been a HowTech tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.